So if you're looking for a way to make a video with your PowerPoint, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Let's jump in. So I just have PowerPoint open and just a basic presentation. This really works for any presentation that you're working on. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head up here to the top and we're just gonna go over to the record option. Now there's a couple of different methods to do this. Now the first method that we're gonna talk about is to simply create a video of your slides so that you can send that video file to someone so they can just watch the slides as a movie rather than either them having to open up the, the presentation in PowerPoint or sending them a whole bunch of PDF images of your slides. You can do that this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up here. So you see the export options here and we want to go export to video so you click on that and it's going to open up this menu here which gives you a couple options you can name this which is just using the name from your presentation but you can name it something else all right we'll call it the annual report just to have it called something different you can customize your export if you click on this now in here you could click on this top option here and change the resolution if you want to create a smaller file size we're just going to leave this at full 1080p and then down below that the option that's pre-selected for us is don't use recorded timings and narration if you have recorded timings or narrations in the video which i'll show you how to add those in just a second uh, you could apply those but but most of the time for me I just want to show the slides. So then you can change right below here how long each slide is on the screen for. Depending on how much text or how much needs to be put into that, you can change that. I'm just going to leave it at five seconds. And then you just click on create video. It's going to pop up here. It's going to ask you where you want this to be saved. I'm just going to select a folder here. Let's go to our downloads and click export. And depending on how many slides that you have or how much is involved in the slides, if you have a lot of moving animations or graphics or just a lot of text, we'll dictate how long that takes. So we'll just wait here and then just click on view and share video. And here it is. So you can see here, it's just playing through the video and every five seconds, the slide changes. Now people can obviously pause that if they want to read more information there and continue it that way. So now it's just a simple video file and, and you could send that to somebody or upload it onto YouTube or Facebook, wherever you want. And now the other option is we can actually record our presentation of the slides and I'll show you how to do that. So again, we're gonna be in the record section here and then you can either do it slide by slide or you can do it from the beginning. So if you click on from the beginning over here, it'll again bring up this menu and you can see a couple of things happen. One, it has the slides down here and my notes. So if I added any notes into the presentation to be able to talk through like I was giving the presentation live, those will also come up. Now, all it's going to record is this actual screen here but I have my notes here that I can present it this way. The other thing that happened is it brought up a little camera so I can actually have my video embedded into this as well. As I'm presenting the information, it's going to be seeing me and hearing me. You can also, just like you would in a regular presentation, you can add markups. So you can select your highlighter down here. Maybe we want red and we can circle things in there as we go. And you can change what your camera is or what your microphone is all from up here. So once you have everything set and you're ready prepared, all you have to do is click this big red record button and you'll get a countdown. And now we're recording. So I'm gonna talk through my slides and right now we're gonna have a presentation here about the basic presentation. And then I'm gonna just click my arrow over and we're gonna go to the next side. And today we're gonna to be talking about the introduction, building confidence, engaging the audience, visual aids, and final tips and takeaways. So let's get started. And then we jump in and we just present our presentation as we would. And you can talk directly to the camera and present it however you want. When you're done, all you need to do is hit the square button there and that will stop the recording. Now from here, we can preview this back Let's get started. And then we jump in and we just present our presentation as we would. And the key thing to remember here is it recorded your video and audio for each slide separately. So we can preview this back. Let's go back to this slide. And if we hit the play arrow, arrow over, and we're gonna to go to the next side. And today we're gonna to be talking about the introduction, building confidence, 
And you can see it records just what that slide is. Now, if we didn't like how that looked, or we want to go to the next one and be like, let's get started. And then we jumped in and we just present our presentation as, oh, I don't like what I said there. I want to go up here and retake this recording. So you can either go again over the whole thing or just go on this current slide. And so this is a retake. I want to re-record what I said on this slide because I didn't like what I did before. And now this feels like a much better presentation. And I'm going to click stop again. And then we play that back. And so this is a retake. I want to re-record what I But all the other slides over are still intact the way they were. And now we're recording. Okay. So now what we've done is we've recorded our picture and video into each of the slides. Now, there's a couple options from here. One, while we're in here, we can click export and it brings us back to this menu here. And then we can again go to customize recording and say we want to do the full or this now has this option where we're going to use the recording timings and narration from what we just did. Now we could remove that if we go back to the don't use the recorded timings and narration, but we want to use that in this case. And then we say create video. And again, we just want to navigate to where we want to save this. I'm going to go back to the same spot here, open. We're going to call this and we go export. And again, now it's going to take a little bit longer because there is audio and video that's embedded in this. And once again, you can go to view and share video. Say yes, say okay. Okay, and then we can preview this back. And now we're recording. And you can see so my video and audio. My slides, and right now we're gonna talk, have a presentation here about the basic presentation, right? So now it is, now we have my video and audio embedded in this. It's one video file. You can send that, you can upload it, do whatever you want with it from there, okay? Now, if we exit out of this and we come back to the presentation, now you can see my video and audio. And so this is a retake. I want to re-record are still embedded in the presentation. So you can move this around. You can make it bigger. You can do whatever you want with it here and now export the video. Or you can save this as a PowerPoint and send it to somebody that way. And they can also open it up and use it manually like they would with just the slides. But now you have your audio and video embedded in there. So there you have it, a couple of methods to make a video out of your PowerPoint. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.